guys so I am back with another look this is it right here so as you can see it is super vibrant really pretty I am I mean this is something I would wear on the daily and I'm pretty sure maybe most of you would wear but it is really really pretty I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial it wasn't very hard to achieve at all um, I've been doing voiceovers I hope you guys are getting used to them I hope you like them it's a lot easier for me to do a voiceover because my kids are always so crazy so loud so rowdy so it's much easier for me to like like do the voiceover while they're sleeping so you guys don't have a bunch of chaos in the background but yeah so that's about it um that's it. Let me get closer so you guys can see the look. I have this really cute headband on. My hair is kind of curled. I have just an old navy t-shirt on. Kind of boring. But yeah, I guess that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I will see you all again in my next video. Kisses. Okay, guys. So let's get started with this look. This is what it looks like. And yeah, so the first thing that you're going to want to take out is your NYX eyeshadow base. This is in a skin color. So you're just going to want to spread that. I'm doing it with my finger this time instead of a brush. And I'm just spreading it all over my lid up to my eyebrow. And yeah, you're just going to want to blend that in really well. And then the next thing you're going to want to take out, this is a paint pot from MAC. It's called Chilled on Ice and it is really super sparkly. It's like gold. The camera doesn't really do it justice. It's really pretty. So what you're gonna wanna do is stick Chilled on Ice and put that on your lid. We're gonna go ahead and get a flat brush to do that with. It's a MAC 239. You can use your finger or flat brush, whatever you have. And just go ahead and just pack it on. Okay, so I'm going extremely fast here, just kind of fast forwarding it. I got a little bit on my finger and I'm just packing it on top of the other layer. Okay guys, so now we're gonna take this pigment and this pigment is called Frozen White. It's a MAC pigment. You can find it at any um, freestanding store or you can order it online. But it's a really gorgeous, almost like snow color and when you apply it, it's really opal-esque. So it has a beautiful kind of like a blue tint to it. So you're just going to get your 239, any type of flat brush, and you're just going to make sure and pack it on the lid. Be really careful because more than likely you're going to get a bunch of fallout. Um, it's well worth the fallout, though. It's easily to get cleaned up, but it's a beautiful, beautiful pigment, and it looks gorgeous on top of chilled on ice. So you're just going to want to pack that on, get it in the corner of your eye. It's going to help your eye just look awake and bright. Okay, so that's how it's going to look right now, or that's how it should look. So next we are going to take, I'm looking for my brush, sorry guys. This is a really nice shading brush, a blending brush. You're going to want to take that and just kind of blend out that pigment. And I'm just wiping away some fallout right now, so it's super easy to take off. So the next thing that we are going to want to take out is our purple. This is number 92. This is my absolute favorite purple. This is for Makeup Forever, and it is a true purple. I love this color. So I'm just going to get my blending brush and just get a decent amount on there, just kind of top off the excess. And we are going to start in circular motions on the outer corner and windshield wiper motions as we go to the inner corner. So just take that and go back and forth, you guys. Just blend it kind of in an upwards motion, circular, windshield wiper motion, however you're comfortable with blending. And this is how it should look at this time. So now we're going to want to take out, uh, this is called Good Match. This is from Jordana. We are going to use that really soft uh, beigey color. And we're going to use that as our highlight under the eyebrow. I'm using a very flat, two-sided brush. This is an old brush I got from Claire's years and years ago. So I'm just tapping off my excess, and I'm going to stick that beigey color right underneath my eyebrow. This is going to give a really nice um, highlight. So yeah, you're just going to want to place your color there. You don't have to blend it, just kind of place it, and it should look like this. So now we're going to take out our a Duo. This is a Duo palette. This is from um, Dynamic Duos is what it's called. This is from uh, MAC. Sorry, I keep pointing to the wrong one. You're going to want to use that really soft baby pink. If you have a color like Yogurt from MAC, that's really, really similar. That may even be yogurt. Actually, that's kind of too pink, but so you're going to want to take that baby pink and that one, that color is going to go on top of our purple. It's just a gradient effect. The purple is going to go into the pink 
And I've told you guys plenty of times, um, you never want to see where one shadow ends or one begins. You always want them to flow right into each other. And that's exactly what this is doing. The purple is flowing into the pink. So it looks really nice. So now we're going to want to take out this color. It's called Royale, and it's a matte blue shade. This is also for MAC. Um, this is actually discontinued for MAC, so um, you can actually use any blue you have. Okay, so I'm going to get this really thin pointing brush. This is actually another Soho brush. I got it from Walgreens. This brush is probably about $6.99. It's a great pencil brush. It's not flimsy at all. It's really stiff, which is really nice to be able to kind of make that almost like draw in that cut crease it's not so much a cut crease but just in that outer v area you're just going to want to put your color in there and just kind of blend it it's going to look funny at first because it's not blended well it's just kind of placed but that's okay we're definitely going to get into the blending and it's going to look really pretty just get out your blending brush and yeah it looks like i'm looking for something i don't know what and great, I got another brush, another blending brush. Go ahead and get that one out and just start blending back and forth that really dark uh, blue, that Royale blue. You could also use like electric eel or any blue, fresh water. I mean, any blue that you have would be sufficient. Okay, so um, yeah, it looks like I'm adding, I'm just blending back and forth. I'm using the same brush that had the purple and just kind of going in an upwards motion just so everything kind of goes well together, just mesh as well, okay? All right, guys, so you're just going to continue blending, blending, blending until you have it exactly right. You'll know when it looks good, and that's when you can stop. So right now, I am going to take out, it looks like frozen white. It's upside down. Take out that pigment again, and I might have lost a little bit of that shimmer during all of that blending. So I'm just going to um, take a flat brush and just add a little bit more frozen white, and I'm just putting that kind of in the um, first part of my lid. And also in the uh, inner duct, it just helps brighten you up a little bit. All right, so just getting rid of any fallout. You guys know the drill. It comes off very, very easily. And what's next? More blending. Okay, now I'm going to take out this Prestige Eyeliner. I got this, I believe, from a grocery store. It was like $5.99. It's a really nice navy blue. So we're just going to stick that navy color in our waterline. Just go back and forth with it. Be pretty generous with it. The pigment isn't great on it, but it's decent. So then, um, yeah, maybe I should fast forward that. It's really slow. Then make a weird face in the camera. <laughs> anyway, get your pencil brush back out. You guys go ahead and spray that with some Fix Plus, and we are going to do a smudging underneath our uh, waterline. Just smudge that blue in there. It's going to look really pretty. Um, Really, you guys, you could even put like a green liner, a purple liner. I mean, it's endless what color you could use under there. But I thought blue would mesh well, so that's why I chose blue. Okay, you can even go back in there with your uh, purple. I'm taking Makeup Forever's purple, and I'm just going to add that also just on top of the blue, and it makes the blue a little bit more like an indigo blue, just a little bit brighter. Okay, now time for our wing liner. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray. Uh, spray my eyeliner brush with some Fix Plus because I use a cake liner. So I have to spray it first because it dries out. And when I spray it, I'm able to apply it. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this because it's kind of bore snore. All right, so now that you have your cat liner done, we are going to take Extended Play Mascara. This is also from MAC. I love this mascara a lot, you guys, because it has a really small comb, so it combs through every single hair, every single lash, and it's just a really nice mascara. It really helps for extending the lashes. Hence, Extended Play. Okay, now that you're done with your mascara, let's start with the lipstick. This is from YSL. I have no idea the name of this color, but it is a complete Barbie pink. And it's probably too light for me right now because I have somewhat of a tan. But that's all right. I love this color. I've always loved baby pink. No matter what color I am, I'm going to do some stupid posing right quick so you guys can see the look. I'm putting some Fix Plus on. And yeah, the look's about done, you guys. This is it. And it's just a really fun look. I mean, you can wear this day or night. I have no lashes on left yet, but I am going to put some on. Thanks again. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon.